Hey guys, it's Pineapple and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some apple cinnamon scones. So yeah, this is my first ever baking video and if you like it I will do some more. Um, so you will need some scales, some whatever that says of soda, some Greek yogurt, self-raising flour, light brown soft sugar baking mad corn alsatian self-raising flour whole meal you don't have to use this and um, it's just we're going to use a bit of both of these we're going to be using 100 grams of this and 50 grams of this some ground cinnamon and a large cooking apple. First, preheat the oven to, sorry, 180 degrees. Um, also known as, I, I don't know. Um, but make sure it's on the fan setting. And yeah. Okay, so now let's begin with the actual thing. Remember to line the tray which you put in which you're going to put in there with big paper so nothing sticks to the tray. First, get two tablespoons of your Greek yogurt and put it in a large mixing bowl. Come on. And then open it. This is a new one that you don't need anywhere. You could use just an old one. So two teaspoons. This is for your wet ingredients. And if you get another one, that could be for your dry ingredients. But you are going to mix them together at the end anyway. Do a tiny bit more because. Then put your yogurt back in the fridge as you won't be needing it again. I'm really sorry about the TV in the background. I will turn it off as soon as I get the chance, which probably won't be in this video, really sorry. And I forgot to say, you also need an egg. And remember to wash your hands. I've already done that. I just didn't do it on video. Okay, so next, get your large egg. Wait. Yeah, just one normal egg. And beat it on the side of a bowl and crack it open. Just normally, then put the shell away and pour your egg into your mixture. Make sure there are no shells. Next, turn on your scales so they should be at zero. And then add in 50 grams of light brown sugar. You don't have to use this light brown soft sugar you have to use this or it won't work you could just use any sort of sugar but this one works best for this case so i'll cut ahead of the video till i do it so i'm done with that sorry that's my mum so then i just mix it all up and make sure it comes to a nice gooey mixture but don't worry once we add in the rest of the dry ingredients it will turn into nice stuff this sort of reminds me of making slime because this consistency i've never really had in a cake mix like it's really gloopy but once you add in your flour it should become a nice soft consistency so guys um this makes eight scones um but if you want to make more scones then just i feel like adding more things or if you want to make less adding less things and yeah so i think that's just about enough mixing it says beat them together so yeah it should end up looking like this gooey bits and then we're going to move on to the next stage Next, get a bigger bowl and you're going to sift some of the flour in. Or if your flour is already not that lumpy, you can just put it in just like this. So we need 200 grams of this. And because this is like plain flour, we're going to add in 
and 150 of cream flour and 50 of um, wholemeal flour. You don't have to do that. You can all just you can just have wholemeal or just have plain or a bit of both. So yeah, find 150 grams. Um, do you want me to cut ahead in the video so I do that? I think I should. Now I'm adding in 50 grams of wholemeal flour. Now you're gonna need um, one teaspoon of this. Um, no, not that. One teaspoon of this bouillon of soda. So this is actually quite strong. That's why you only need a teaspoon. So just a little bit. I'm not that's doing that's too that's much. That's Sorry about that, guys. Um, now I'm going to add in my cinnamon. I need one and a half teaspoons of this. So there's. That's about one and a half because it's not level. Actually, I think I added a bit more because I absolutely love cinnamon. Do you like the smell of it, guys? It's about ah. there. We go, and now you're just gonna want to just mix it. Next, grate an apple. Well, peel it first and then grate it, just like this. And you can see it comes off. Just like that, and I'll cut ahead in the video too. I do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna eat the rest of the apple. Next, this is the part where you combine the two, so it becomes a nice dough mixture. So yeah. Next, my glamorous assistant is going to pour in the grated apple, just just bit at a time. Or you can do it all together. Um, so mix in the stuff and keep slowly and slowly adding in the good mixture. But it doesn't really matter if you do it quick or not because you're mixing it in anyway. And it should become a nice doughy mix and then you'll be able to knead it in with your hands. So next, pour your whole entire dough, once it's all kneaded in, onto the table and pour lots of flour onto the table. Get some on your hands so the dough does not stick to you. And then apart from that, you can roll the dough in the flour, do anything really. If it, and it just feels a bit like slime, to be honest. Um, I wonder if it's clicky. That's a bit clicky, guys, but it looks like there's cheese in it, but it's actually just grated apple. It's super sticky, guys, so keep an adding and adding and adding and adding flour. That flour is the key to life if you want to bake. Um, so I'm just literally mixing so much flour, but it's not a very good idea because you don't want it to be very, very, very dry. You just want it to have good moistness, but not like wet more more just delicious moist okay i'm just it's literally stuck to my hands guys but remember you can lick your hands unless you're a child under five if your class is a young child then and you're actually not allowed to eat raw egg that's the mixture the mixture's made out of raw egg can you pause the video okay now i'm just gonna Move away from here. That feels really nice. So once you've done that, you're going to need to cut the dough into little squares and put it on the baking mats. And then put it in the oven. And after about 45 minutes, they should be ready. So yeah, I've just been licking the mixture. And guys, it is so nice. Like, yeah, and comment down below if you made them, what they tasted like, and if you liked them. If you want me to do any more um, baking videos or just any other videos, sorry. P.S. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and show your family and friends if you like it. Bye guys, love you, and peace. Okay, I'll stop saying peace. Bye guys, love you.